Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Kryptonic and today I'm going to be doing another OBS tutorial and this time it's a 2018 edition of this OBS tutorial. Now I'm going to be talking about recording settings and live streaming settings so if you guys don't up enjoying the video make sure to drop a like on it but anyways guys let's get straight into the video so obviously the first thing you want to do is head over to the obs studio website it's obsproject.com and you guys are simply going to hit download and you guys are going to choose your operating system so obviously for me it's going to be windows and once you guys have downloaded obs so once you have it open you guys are going to be seeing this and i already have a bunch of things added to it and don't worry about that i'm going to be showing you guys something very important that a lot of people when they do obs tutorials forget to talk about and that is the profile option over here so as you guys can see i have nvenc and recording profile and x264 so now i'm going to be talking about live streaming with your graphics card now this is probably the most beneficial if you guys don't have a good cpu because that means that you guys will be able to live stream it is going to be a little bit more blurry because you're using your graphics card power instead of your cpu power but you will definitely be able to live stream so if you go to settings and you guys go to stream you guys obviously want to add in your stream key first i usually live stream to twitch you guys can do it to twitch youtube whatever you want it's all there and then once you guys get to output this is where you're going to set it now if you guys have a gtx graphics card and nvidia graphics card it's going to be nvenc for you guys instead of x264 because x264 uses your cpu and if you don't have a good one it's going to be really hard to live stream so you guys are going to select nvenc or opengl depending on if you have an amd or a nvidia graphics card and you guys are going to go down to cbr constant bit rate and you guys are going to set it to 5000 now i know a lot of people say that 5000 is overkill you know you guys should just go for 3500 but 5000 is twitch's default since they did up their bit rate level that they can take in and preset you want to leave it on default profile high just because you're not going to be pushing too much so it's okay and then for video you guys are simply going to make everything 1920 by 1080 because like i did say you're using your graphics card here so you're not really going to be forcing anything on your cpu and of course for the downscale filter make it the third one the 32 samples because that keeps the image the sharpest it possibly can for common value if you guys want to live stream at 30 go ahead but i would definitely recommend 60 fps since games always look so much better when you're watching a live stream in 60 fps and for advanced settings you're just going to change the process priority to above normal instead of normal i wouldn't recommend high i would just recommend above normal and that is using your gpu now switching it over to your cpu which is probably the best way to live stream to get the best quality out of your live stream you guys are simply gonna if you know obviously have a profile i already do but i'm just switching to make it a lot easier you guys are going to go to your settings and you guys are going to do the same thing and go to output and as you guys can see i have x264 selected and that is what i'm going to be using my cpu i still have my cbr to 5000 but instead what i'm doing here is i'm setting my cpu usage to very fast so that way it doesn't look bad but it's also not that heavy on my cpu i have my profile to main some people might prefer high but i like main it makes the quality just stay a little bit better for me at least and here's the very important part i'm downscaling it because i have a ryzen 5 1600x overclocked to 3.9 gigahertz but it's still not enough to live stream at 1920 by 1080 at 60 fps now i could change this and live stream at 1920 but i would have to change this to 30 fps because i would not be able to handle it now i like live streaming at 60 fps as i previously mentioned so i'm going to keep it like that and i'm making this 720 because i want to live stream at 60 fps and it obviously doesn't look that bad and if you keep the downscale filter to 32 sharpened it'll look pretty well too now going over to the advanced settings i still have above normal set and you know that's just my all around settings and of course for audio just select your microphone and you guys will be good to go but as you guys can see for cpu i do have to downscale it because my cpu isn't strong enough and that's how most i5s are even my friend with an i5 6600k can't live stream at you know 1920 by 1080 60 fps because an i5 can't do that and my ryzen i'm surprised can do 720p 60 fps which is just crazy now if you guys are going to be doing some recording i of course already have another profile you guys just select recording profile if you guys are making profiles like i am on the go 
and you're just going to go over to output and of course make sure your output mode is to advance instead of simple because if not you get this and it doesn't look that great so go to advance and then head over to the recording tab don't worry about anything else here and make sure that your recording format is mp4 that's personally what i like to use and i also add more audio tracks so that way when i have you know friends playing with me i separate their voice and the game and my voice and of course for encoder make sure you're using whatever your graphics card is i have a gtx 1080 so i'm going to be using Using the ENVENC encoder. If you guys have an AMD graphics card, it's obviously not going to be the same. It's not going to be X264. It's going to be whatever is open. So it's probably going to be OpenGL. Now for rate control, I'm using CBR again, constant bitrate, and I'm using a bitrate of 50,000. And that is because I'm recording and I want the most pristine looking quality gameplay ever. And for the preset, I leave it on default because everything else looks about the same. For the profile, I leave it on main because the less amount of work that my process and GPU do the better the gameplay itself will look if I put it to high it's gonna make the game video look a little bit distorted because I'm making the GPU think that it can't handle recording which it obviously can so you guys just want to leave everything here as auto and as you guys will see in your live streams and recordings it'll just look incredible and those are my OBS settings for 2018 let me know down below if you guys have any questions about anything I will respond to you as soon as possible because my last OBS videos have been doing quite well and I just want to help you guys out if you guys are starting off your own you know streaming careers or YouTube careers and you guys are using OBS because it's a very very good program and I would definitely recommend it to all of you guys starting out now I did say it's a great program but it's also a very demanding program so just make sure that you can run it and if you can't run it always remember that you can use your GPU and if it lags for you it's most likely because your CPU can't handle the program that's what a lot of people had in the last video the problem was they couldn't record or live stream properly and it's most likely because your hardware just isn't up to par with what obs requires thank you so much for sticking around hopefully you guys do end up using these settings and let me know how they work out for you for me they have been working perfectly and i think this is just what i'm going to stick with because they've worked out so great so far anyways guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and if you did remember to leave a like and a comment down below this has been kryptonic and i will see you guys around and i'm out peace guys